How to catch your man cheating, step one. No, how to catch yourself in an insecure moment, step one. Step two, hide your AirPod inside his car. And we're on the go. Step three, change your hairstyle. So today, we have bangs. <laughs> I'm obviously also going to wear a mask. Okay? Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm pulling up. <laughs> Found his car. It's happening. Before I go in, ask yourself something, lady. So let's say you did catch him cheating. So all of a sudden, he just going to magically want to be monogamous. Ma'am, I don't know if gullible, if we understand the definition of gullible, but that's just not reality. And let's say you did catch him in the act, right? Do you think that's going to make you more secure or more insecure? Let's just be honest. You know what I'm saying? Because now you can never look at him the same and you're going to self-sabotage the relationship even when he's not doing anything wrong because you're going to be suspecting that he's cheating, thinking that he's cheating when he's just going to the store. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Instead of just having a conversation, you would rather see these things because you're addicted to toxicity. Like I said, did you notice it's happening? Ready for the toxicity. Now, I want y'all to understand something about this woman, right? This woman, instead of asking her partner where he's going and instead of, you know, being upfront and just having an adult conversation she rather do some sneaky stuff. Now, I know y'all saying, well, he's doing sneaky stuff as well. Look at him. You don't know what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And if he felt comfortable enough to tell you where he was going because y'all could communicate, then there wouldn't be a problem. You feel what I'm saying? Basically, what I'm getting at is this. Obviously, this man wants to be poly, right? And if you consider your man to be a king, why not accept another queen in a relationship? Because you're insecure. It has nothing to do with, oh, I'm monogamous. No, no, because we've already done the research. Most women always compete with other women because there are less men on the planet. You feel what I'm saying? So they have no choice but to compete against one another instead of working together. And It takes a village to raise a child, right? So... Instead of, you know, inviting another woman inside their relationship, they would rather, you know, cause a scene or, or, or make an argument knowing that this is what this person is into in the first place. It's just like, dude, accept it. You know what I'm saying? You didn't walk away from the relationship. You continued on in the relationship and probably more than likely made a scene when you found him with somebody else. It's just like, bro, y'all be addicted to toxicity. If you think he's cheating or suspect that he's cheating or, you know, even know that he's cheating, why continue on in a relationship if you're just going to cause a scene? You feel what I'm saying? It's like, bro, two wrongs don't make a right. If he's sneaking around and you doing the same sneaky thing, it's not going to help anybody out. You feel what I'm saying? You could have just been like, I know you out here. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm not going to leave you, right? Let's just have a conversation. You know this woman is more than likely not going to leave this man. Make a scene to try to make it. You're not going to force him into monogamy. That's just I, You just have to accept the fact that certain men are not monogamous. It's just what it is. You feel what I'm saying? You don't go into the jungle and see a lion and then force him to be. But you can't do that. You feel what I'm saying? You cannot do that. Ma'am, what you're doing is not enough. You got to accept the fact that you may not be the only woman that he's interested in. It's more efficiency. It, it, uh, uh, unfortunately, it's more of y'all than it is of us. So we have way more options than you do. 
You feel what I'm saying? Women may say, well, I have a lot of, no, you got a lot of beta males and people you put in the friend zone because they don't match up to the ideal man that you would want to have in your life. Meanwhile, you got a man right here who knows that he can get another queen, but you want to make it seem like, well, I should be his only, his own, you know, you're never going to be his only, except that. If he's a, if he, if he a high value man, he has the option to go out and be with other women. You feel what I'm saying? He has that option. You don't, unfortunately, because you're a woman. It's just what it is. And if you would like to live that lifestyle, go live that lifestyle. But nine times out of ten, you're not going to find an alpha male living that lifestyle. And you got to accept that. It's just what it is, ma'am. But what you doing, if you just sharing more insecurities, you just projecting your insecurities on other women. And all women don't live like this. Just women in the Western Hemisphere. Let me repeat that. Just women in the Western Hemisphere. Let me repeat that one more time. Just women in the Western Hemisphere. Get that through your mind. You will never be the only one. Unless you get you a beta male. I'm not saying all, beta, all, all men that are monogamous are beta males, but... There are more beta male men that are monogamous than there are alpha male men that are monogamous. That's a fact. 100% fact. Because beta males don't have the option. Masculine men do. That's the difference. And it's not enough, lady.